column heading override X, M, L alias. So it is the column heading override right. It is a column heading override. But what with an X, M, L, alias any differences? Between the column heading override. How did it identify the column heading override? So basically, it's the name of the fields. Correct, it gave you an XML image. It could not have any XML equivalent of that. So just gave you an XML name, right? So, but it did not keep the hash. Because the hash character in X, M, L is a reserved character. Okay, so it. We cannot have it as part of the name, so shall we watch? Shall we change these a little bit? Make it more readable. Right, we may do that, so we can go to the related actions, custom report and edit. Okay so, and remember this column heading overrides, can be anything, so we do, we. This is a bit like dirty underscore, hash underscore. So let me just make it one underscore length of service worker again. Let's make it length. Underscore off, underscore service, underscore worker, and here, instead of X, M, L, name of something, let's make it as number of years of service, right, and anything else. Experience. Underscore bands looks okay, right. So we just cleaned it up a little bit, made it a bit easier to read. So now, why is it not happy with some of these fields? It is not happy because you see it says, enter a web service alias that is 16 characters or fewer. Longer names will increase the RAS output file size. So it says, if possible, reduce the number of. I will deduce a link for this, x, m, l overrides, right, but anyway, we don't expect this to be too, too big. So let's just click OK. Again, it's an alert. So it will tell you two times. But if you insist that, no, this is what I want to use. It will still say OK, if you insist. OK, so it is done. It is created. Our report is now web service enabled. Now if I go back to my EIB, and if I want to use that as my source of data, you see, it appears right. WWE employee details. It's now a valid source of data. Right, great. So now we will go to next. Transform as of now. Let's, let's skip transform. We will say, transformation, none next, deliver. How are you going to deliver this file to the end system by default? The option is workday attachment. If you click on this, if you edit this, you have other options as well. The most common, most common one is SFTP. But unfortunately, I don't have an SFTP server that I can show you. But let me show you the configuration anyway, the SFTP. So the SFTP server information has to be given like this, SFTP. You have to start with the prefix like this. Now let me tell you typically how they will give you the information. Okay, so typically the server information will be something like this. Hostname. Secure FTP. OK. Dot. Let's say a deep com. OK. That will be the host name, the port. The default port for SFTP connection is 22. That is a default port, but then some applications may use a different port. Let's say 10022. Okay, and then they will give you a username. 
OK, let's say WD login. Now, who is going to create this username and password? The owner of the FTP or the SFTP server? They are going to give you the credentials right. So password. Right, they're giving you a password and then they will also give you a directory. Or folder where you are supposed to deliver the files. Right, they're going to give you a directory. So it is the owner of the SFTP server. They are going to give you that information right. So you can, it can be something like this, from working. Okay, so if we have a password, have this information. We will ask for this information. Once we have this information, we will just configure this and work, all right. So if this is the, if this is the information that you have received, so we will configure this in Workday in this matter. So in the SFTP folder, in the SFTP, sorry, the SFTP field, we will start by something like this. SFTP colon slash slash. Just like you write a 50 or HTTP web service websites, write HTTP websites. So you will write sftp colon slash slash. Then you will give the host name. All right, secure ftp.adp.com. Give a colon. And give the port. If it is the default port 22, you do not need to give anything. But if it is a non-default mode, like 10022, definitely give it right. Definitely you have to mention that if it is 22, you may give it, you may not give it, but if it is something different from 22, you definitely have to give it. So we will copy it like this. And here in the SFTP address, we will paste it. Okay, it has to be in the format SFTP colon, slash, slash. Otherwise, it will not connect. Then we are going to do the directory. What is the directory? So the directory is the folder that you are supposed to send the file, like from Workday, right? This is the directory. So you will configure that right here. Now comes the authentication method. What is the authentication method? Typically, it is username password. You may also have an SSH authentication to secure. What is it called, secure handshake, right? Secure SSL handshake authentication? If you are going to do that, that is based on certificate authentication keys. So you have to generate a key pair. You have to generate a private key and you have to send the public key to the recipient. Okay, so we are not going to use SSH authentication, we are going to use username and password. So what was the username we had created for ourselves? WD login. Okay, so we will use WD login as our username and we will type in the password. Okay, and then the file name. What is the file name going to be? Let's say it is employee or WD, employee details. Dot X, M, L. This is going to be the file, right? So this is the file name that we are going to send, and how long is this file going to be retained? In Workday. The maximum is 180 days. Let's say I want to keep it for 30 days, just for logging purposes. So for 30 days, I want to keep this particular file right, and you can specify in which environment is this SFTP going to be used. You can say that, okay, this is going to be used only for production in the production system. We are going to send the file over using this SFTP server details right. But in our testing scenario, let me save this. 
So we have configured the SFTP.